guitar buddies that was the talking heads classic found a job okay so in the verses we've just got two chords we've got an a7 so I'm just playing on the top four strings two 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 and three and then just moving that up to the seventh position for a d7 so seven 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 eight and what you've got with this is a kind of scratchy so you've got the trick of this is to always keep strumming up and down. It's quite fast, so you got. So. So. So with that, the rhythm, it varies a bit, but basically, I'm still going just always one and two and three and four. So just putting those stabs in. Two, yeah, four. Yeah. So just kind of releasing the pressure with your fingers, then putting the pressure on, and just always up and down stroke, that kind of thing. And stop mixing the rhythm a bit. So. Okay, but once you get that kind of, that kind of up and down. Okay, that's the main thing is to get that kind of chukka rhythm. Chukka, 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 chukka. That kind of thing going. So you just alternate between those two chords on the verses. And then on the chorus we've got, so playing E, A7, you can, hear that G there so the same as the first chord but kind of a bigger chord putting the open string in so E A7 E G I think it's just G kind of the G5 or just a normal G but I put in 3 and 3 so okay so 3 open D open G 3 3 I think it's that G but there's two guitars kind of mixed together as well. And then again. And then the next time you do E, D, E, D. Just E, D, E, D. And then the first one again, E, A7, E, G. And then kind of mixes it up, goes backwards a little bit. It goes E, G, E, A7. And we've got E, G, A, F sharp. And then you've got B, D, B, D. Then B, D, E. And then you're back into that. So here we go. So you've got E, A7, E, G. E, A7, E, G. E, D, E. D, E, A7, E, G, E, G, E, A7, E, G, A, F sharp, B, D, B, D, B, D, E. There you go. Great song. And next we'll take a look at that brilliant Tina Weymouth bass part. Got a lot of love for Tina Weymouth and a great bass part. So here we've got... So I played open A, octave A, then open A, B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B. So open, two on G, open, open, two, four, five, four, two. Then the octave again, and then go back to the start. Then when we go to the D chord, I'm just playing open D and then E, F sharp. So do that as hammers. So playing the first note and then hammering two and four on the D string. Open G to A. So you've got that three times then a 
B to an A, four and two on the G string, and then So basically you're just going round on that. And then last time you've got So kind of on the chorus I'm playing E, G, A, B, E. And then could just be a G, I think I think kind of catches both notes here, so it could be open strings. Kind of sounds cool. So you've got So I'm playing two on D, three on E, open A, two, two, open strings, and then third string on E. We do that twice. So, and then third time, just go to a D, just play the single D note there. So it's the same. And then, Back to the first one, and then I'm going up E, G, B, E. So we kind of end on an A7 over an E there. So we've got two, four, nine, nine. And then, so we've got to the F sharp chord. We've got E, G, A, F sharp. So we've got two, five, two, four, and then playing B, D, F sharp, B, D, two, five on A, four on D, two, five on A, and then finishing with F sharp, E, D, B, seven, so nine, seven, five, seven, up an E, and then back into it. Okay, so a lot of fun to be had with that one. Great tune, and as always, thanks for watching, buddies. Cheers.